Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to be playing some VTOL VR, uh, actually adding commentary over the already had footage. Uh, today I was playing uh, one of the missions I created just play testing, but a little bit different because I was playing it nighttime mode. And I really never did any nighttime mode stuff, so yeah, here's the uh, first minute or so of footage and yeah, let's see how it goes. So I was just setting everything up, and then that B-11 bomber over there, that, um, moving thing, yeah. Uh, I didn't program it correctly at the start, and I kind of just left it there if anyone ever wanted to wait long enough to see what happens. And there's a little surprise at the end. Um, by surprise, I mean demise, but, you know, it's a nice little, let's see. Boom, there it is. Yep, nice little explosion. Uh, yeah, then for this first minute or two, I was just testing out all the interior lights, getting all the control set up, so I'm just gonna quickly uh, fast forward over this. Uh, nothing really important happened here. It was just, just messing with everything. Okay, and I'll be back. Hello, and we are back. And right now, I'm just about to take off, just taxiing over to the runway. Um, I'm fairly certain that I don't keep the cockpit light on. I was just kind of testing everything, trying to see how everything goes. Um, yeah. Then, as I get to the runway, just, you know, turn here. Same old, same old. Try to align the best you can. Um, yeah, then, yeah, still turning. <laughs> And then here, I'm fairly certain I check for flaps after I, I got my alignment. Yep, brake lock on, flaps one, interior lights off, there we go. Oh, no, nope, that stays on. And here's me, uh, yeah, trying to actually touch that, but, oh, there we go, I got it, but in the end didn't change it. Okay. Uh, brake lock off, full throttle, and now we take off. I have the uh, TGB targeting pod as my first uh, screen right there, and I just have the objective as the second one. I have the radar on, but it's currently muted, uh, so we don't hear anything. I don't think there's anything that can lock or will attack us in this mission. Landing gear up, flaps back to zero. Uh, still looking, landing lights off, okay. There we go. Just making sure all the lights look okay, I guess. I don't know. Uh, and me, adjusting headset. And I'm fairly certain I touched night vision a few times right here, just to see what it's like. Oh, that's, yep, that's helmet visor. Just turn that back on. Yep, there's night vision. I wouldn't say I used it very much. I didn't really think it was good. I mean, I personally liked it when it was dark. It was really nice and pretty. Uh, yeah, then right over here when I was turning, I was like, wow, that's freaking dark. And I didn't realize how dark that actually was. Um, I mean, it was at the angle, but still, it was pretty bad. Then I turn interior lights back on. I don't really know why. Um, I personally wish there was the, uh, two lights in there, so it wasn't just coming from all one area. Um, uh, master arm so we can fire weapons and just raising the seal a little bit so you can see a little bit higher up I guess. Um, then we're making the approach to the uh, waypoint, uh, about 11 clicks. Um, interior lights, yep, back off, there we go. And from here on, nothing really happens that's too important, just adjusting, trying to get through as fast as possible, full throttle. Um, over here we see that it's actually a very pretty city when it's at nighttime. I didn't realize it was this cool. I'm definitely going to start doing more nighttime missions. Um, this one was surprisingly fun. Uh, yep, just raising altitude, turning. And we was looking at the moon. Oh, yeah. The moon is also very bright, a lot brighter than I expected. Uh, it would be cool if you can change the weather conditions in the game. Have it rainy, windy, but... I don't think they'll ever, they'll, uh, they'll ever add that. It's, it hasn't been updated in a while, so. 
Maybe there's a mod, but I don't really know. Uh, then we're just closing in on the point. I was thinking about also expanding, uh, like, make it one kilometer range instead of, you know, 0.5, make it a little bit easier. And from here, just trying to bleed off a little altitude, bleed off a little speed. I'm gonna hog this mountain right here. And, yeah, I'm just gonna try to do a full, what is it? Looks like 240? I don't know. Uh, yep, and then I realized that I'm actually angled in the wrong position. I'm pretty sure right around here. No, I don't realize yet. That's a few more seconds. Um, yeah, there's, uh, nothing really. Uh, I don't know what I was trying to do there. Uh, just a headset. Then as we, uh, hug this mile and try to just turn straight over. Uh, yep. A lot of Uber G's. Uh, yeah. Yeah, then right around here I realize, oh wait, no, that's not the right hill. And, um, so yeah, right around here I was trying to find, like, where's the enemies? And I just couldn't see them. By the way, targeting paw at nighttime? Awesome. I highly recommend playing during nighttime. Uh, yeah, then I realize, oh wait, no, I'm at the wrong area. And so I quickly try to adjust. I have uh, AGM 65, AGM 65, so there we go, fire and forget. Just trying to get a lock and lock, fire, lock, fire, lock, fire, and lock, fire. Try to go for the last one, but I'm barely certain that misses. Just nice little cinematic view right here. And yep, straight over it. Uh, that one was actually a bit of a pain. Um, I had to do, I think, multiple passes on it, actually. Uh, then here we can see just turning around, trying to get back to the uh, regular area, try to get aligned. Uh, yeah, there's a big runway. It's actually really big, a lot bigger than I expected compared to the size of the city right here. A um, lot of, what is it, city, a lot of tall buildings over here. It'd be cool to have a little, uh, I don't know what's it called, stunt run, I guess, I don't know. Um, then here we can see I am uh, trying to realign with the uh, sniper that we're trying to kill right now. Uh, we got a lock on it. Um, I'm pretty sure. Yep, just making sure it's the right person. Uh, I'm pretty sure I actually see it. Uh, I see the red marker. Yep, you can see it right there on the. Uh... Yep, uh, okay, there we go. Align. Moving the TGP targeting pod. Uh, then I get aligned, and I'm pretty sure this one misses too, actually. Got fire two missiles. Uh, both go straight overhead. Uh, hit the uh, street instead, which isn't ideal, but I still have three AGMs left. Uh, yeah, then just adjusting headset, going in for another pass. Uh, I think I get it on this last pass, maybe. Um, yeah, right here we're just turning, trying to get back a line. Nothing really interesting. Yeah, and I'll just, I'll just cut it out until we get some actual, uh, until we act, get the last bit, little bit of combat, and we'll see from there. I'll be right back. Hello, and welcome back, and now we're just uh, making our final approach on the target, we're trying to zoom in as best we can on the TGP and missile away. Uh, still using AGM-65, of course. Uh, honestly, probably my favorite missile in the game. The Fire and Forget feature is really awesome. Uh, I've had fun with bombs, but honestly, for me, it's a it's a <clears throat> hit or miss, if you will. Uh, I haven't really been good at using bombs. I honestly prefer the dumb fire bombs. And there, target and hit straight on top of that building. Uh, mission complete, and we just have to return back to base to complete the mission. Uh, right up here, I turn master arm off. Uh, just, yep, trying to figure out where I have to go, start turning, turning, turning. Uh, yeah, but the city view is actually really awesome. Um, I never thought it'd be this good. I mean, the graphics in this game aren't the best, but you kind of have to expect that when the maps can be extremely massive. Um, not really playing the game for the graphics, uh, but yeah, it's a lot better than I actually ever expected. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to be doing more nighttime missions, um, definitely going to be playing more uh, levels, nighttime, all that fun stuff. And we see uh, right here, there's a uh, 
back to the game. There's a hill in the way right now. Uh, you just gotta try to turn away from that, try to be uh, over top of it. And the runway is uh, 12 clicks out, right behind the uh, right behind the mountain. Sorry, there we go. Um, going pretty fast right now, uh, about 470 I think now. I'm still gaining speed. Um, then right around here, I uh, do a little bit more turn, try to get around the mountain, get as far away as possible so I can have a nice smooth landing. Yep, uh, 540. Still gaining speed, but we'll bleed that off right now. Yep, uh, throttle halfway. Just trying to actually get rid of speed now. Uh, I'm pretty sure I don't lose any speed until I, until I start making my uh, final turn. And here is one of my turns. Uh, pretty much over the mountain, uh, sorry, hill. Just trying to align to the runway as best as possible. Uh, yep, and now we're about to start losing speed. Um, yeah, getting pretty low to the ground. Trying to make it so that I... Uh, don't bounce on the runway, because that's always a pain, which usually never happens to me, because uh, I'm overly cautious, and so yep, still losing speed, just pretty slow. Uh, then right around here, uh, I believe this is actually my uh, almost final turn, uh, landing gear down, throttle all the way down. Landing gear. Uh, yep, I turn the interior gear. lights on, and the landing, landing lights gear. on. Uh, okay, landing then my interior, interior lights gear. off. Uh, yep, and this is my uh, final turn, just landing aligning gear. to the actual runway. Then here I just make a few minor adjustments, um, just trying to align best I can so I don't slide off the runway. And we're actually going pretty slow now, 2.45 uh, knots, and yep, turn brake out lock on, so instantly start slowing down once we hit the ground. Uh, relatively decent alignment right here. It's not the greatest I've ever done, but it's definitely not the worst. Um, yep, yeah, just slowly making my way to the ground. Uh, definitely not going to, uh, undershoot the runway. We'll be probably right on the, uh, a little bit past, yeah, past the, uh, 31 right there. Uh, and collision warning. And, yep, we touch the ground. Uh, just sliding down the runway, trying to lose as much speed as possible, try to probably come to a complete halt. Um, yeah, then from here, I just, uh, just taxi over to the end point of the mission. Uh, nothing really interesting happens here, so I'm just gonna cut it out, and I'll see you in a second. And welcome back, and right now we're just about to complete the mission. A few more feet, I'm just gonna then completely halt and then yeah that's pretty much all uh yep thanks for watching uh hope you enjoyed uh i might start doing more commentary missions like this so um yeah see you next time bye